if you just purchased a home, you may be faced with a decision. Well, what's that decision? Should you get mortgage insurance or life insurance? I know some of you may be thinking, well, what's the difference? I thought they were one and the same. Well, they're actually different. And today we're going to talk about not only their differences, but the different features and the benefits of both. Okay, so let's start by talking about what the difference between mortgage insurance and life insurance. When we say mortgage insurance, we're talking about mortgage protection that is offered through the lender. That is the lending institution who offers you some type of uh, insurance coverage. Uh, and then we're talking about this life insurance, which you purchase from a financial broker or an advisor. Okay, now let's talk about the differences between both. The first one has to do with ownership. With mortgage protection, the lender owns the policy. With life insurance that you purchase from a financial advisor or broker, that is owned by you. Right now, in terms of the beneficiary of the policy, for the from a mortgage insurance standpoint, the beneficiary is the mortgage lender. That means if you do pass away, all the funds will go to the lender, and the lender will use those funds to pay off the outstanding mortgage. On the other hand, if you have a life insurance policy through a financial advisor or broker, you get to that, decide who the beneficiary is. Right. So you could have a certain amount and you say, uh, I'm going to pass this to my spouse or I want part to go to my spouse, part to go to my brother, my sister, or my kids or my grandparents. You, you get to decide, right? So from a beneficiary standpoint, uh, again, the mortgage, mortgage lender is the beneficiary for mortgage insurance. Uh, for life insurance, you get to choose. Now, underwriting, and this is an interesting part of it, um, when you get insurance from a from a mortgage from a from a mortgage provider or lender uh, it's usually very short questions and that's because what happens is really post claim underwriting which means the underwriting is done after a claim is put in so you answer a few questions no say 10 years from now you pass away then at that point they do the underwriting and depending on what they find your claim may be denied which means your mortgage will not be paid off However, with life insurance through a financial advisor or broker, underwriting takes place at the time of the application. So at that point, you will know if you are covered or if you're not, or if you're possibly rated. But you know upfront whether you know you will have a payout or not. And that's a huge part of it. Many people have no idea that that's the case. What's the next thing? The next thing we're gonna talk about is coverage. If you have mortgage insurance that's provided um, by a lender, then the coverage actually decreases as the mortgage decreases even though your payment <coughs> is fixed uh, and now you could contrast that with life insurance that's been bought through a financial advisor or a broker the coverage remains the same throughout the entire period uh, and the monthly payments are the same right so and again when we talk about this insurance if, if you if you're unsure then look at the details or ask the questions these are the things that you need to find out uh, in terms of flexibility the mortgage coverage ends once the mortgage ends because that's the sole purpose of this coverage because again the coverage is owned by the mortgage <clears throat> the mortgage lender and they really are just providing us to cover the mortgage and once the mortgage is paid off well they have no need to continue with the coverage right you know, they don't have an insurable interest uh, and the coverage only applies to the same home and the same lender, right? So you don't have much flexibility there. However, if you purchase life insurance through a financial advisor or broker, at the end of the term, you get to choose to renew or convert it if you want to. Um, and, and quite frankly, if you want, you could move or change the beneficiaries, you know? Um, coverage can be moved to any home, even if you change lenders, because the coverage is personal and owned by you. It has no attachment to your home or what you own. Again, as the owner of the policy, you get to decide. You get to make those decisions. So when you have life insurance through a financial advisor or broker, there's a lot more flexibility. Um, and the last one we're going to talk about today is regulation. So when you get mortgage protection, mortgage insurance through a lender, uh, it's sold by a finance institution or a staff member, and that mortgage agent who does not have a license to sell insurance, right? That's why just asking a few questions, then they pass it on to the financial institution, and then the coverage is, is given. 
Um, the market agent only has one company products available to offer. So there's not usually a lot of flexibility. Again, the lender is the one providing the coverage. And because they're the one providing the coverage, of course, they're only going to provide one coverage that the lender sells. Uh, however, if you sit with a uh, life insurance, uh, if you sit to get life insurance through a financial advisor or broker, then more often than not, what you're going to have is if the person is independent, they at least have the choice for a vast array of different companies and products across the province uh, that's available to you. And depending on your situation, you know, it may make sense to choose one or the other life insurance company, depending on your situation, right? So it might be underwriting issues, it might be age. Different companies, life insurance companies are positioned in different ways. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, so a brief summary, again, this is a pretty high level, give you a sense. And so now that you have the information, you can decide. But quite frankly, I think the best thing to do is to reach out to an independent financial um, financial planner or reach out to an independent um, life insurance agent, advisor, who's licensed to provide you with this information and, and make your choice. Just know that just because it's offered at the time of uh, taking out a mortgage, that is not your only choice. Uh, and quite frankly, in many instances, it is not the best choice. So hopefully this was helpful um, in you deciding if mortgage insurance is what you should be uh, looking at or life insurance. And in this case, the uh, terms you're considering were it was obviously term insurance for a particular term. Okay. If you found this helpful, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.